Hey fellow stock guardians, it's Hoda Mir, founder and CEO of StockCard, and this is our Stock Market Daily Roll Show. It's August 17th, 2021. I cover Chinese government regulations and some retail sales numbers from July that affected the market indices. I also investigated the jump in Monday.com and Greenview acquisition stocks, both of which were recent IPOs. Later on, I'll share some ETFs that help you invest in the latest IPO frenzy without picking individual IPOs. Let's get right into it. The market indices ended the day in the red across all three indices. While there weren't any huge stories moving the market, there were some small developments that held back the indices. Chinese stocks listed on U.S. exchanges were heard once again by new regulations coming from the Chinese government. The new rules are meant to keep companies more honest and prevent corporations from gaining too much power over their competitions. The stocks such as Tencent, ticker TCEHY, which we discussed on this show a few times, were impacted by these new regulations. Also, retail sales have been in decline based on July numbers from the U.S. Census Bureau. This is perhaps part of the return to normal in society as people spend less time buying things and more time on services and experiences. It is weighing slightly on retail stocks and the market as a whole. Before we get to today's stock analysis and IPO ETFs, let me thank you for being a stock guardian. My team and I appreciate you watching, listening to, and reading the Daily Roll episodes. And more importantly, we thank you for using a stock card platform in your stock market research. Thank you for being a stock guardian. If you aren't a user yet, I'd like to invite you to try now. First, hit the like button, subscribe to the show, and then create a free account on stockcard.io. Thanks for becoming a new stock guardian. I noticed Monday.com, ticker MNDY, on today's list of most viewed stocks on the stock card. Having worked with many different teams on various projects before, the collaboration software company is very familiar to me. The company posted some great earnings, including a 94% growth in revenue. It sounds like the company is capitalizing on the work from home trend that has got so many teams communicating and collaborating online. One of statistics in particular caught my eye, the number of paid enterprise customers with more than 50,000 in annual recurring revenue was up 226%. This means Monday.com is acquiring larger clients, which accelerates and sustains growth. You may have seen some of Monday.com's advertisements on YouTube, their platform is as sleek as their ads. This is a stock worth adding to your watch list, I'll do the same. Monday.com happens to be a recent IPO, having only gone public on June. Speaking of which, I found another new IPO on the winner's list today on StockCard. Greenview Acquisition, ticker GRNV, has made it to the top of the list. This is a SPAC, a special purpose acquisition company that will acquire and merge with Helbis. The deal was announced in February, but the company will now be listed under the new ticker HLBZ. Helbis is a micro mobility company. It generates revenue through e-scooters, e-bikes, e-mopeds, and its associated apps. Generally, I have negative view of e-scooter stocks. There are too many scooter companies, they're hard to differentiate from each other, and it doesn't help to see scooters left alone on the sidewalk across large cities such as LA and San Francisco. Unless I see very impressive operational numbers from this new SPAC merger, I'm sitting on the sideline. As you know, you can get the list of companies by their IPO date on a stock card. All it takes is typing IPO in the search bar, I'll leave a link to the 2021 IPO list in the show notes. There are 1,477 companies on this list. It's great to filter through for your research. When I searched IPO to pull up the 2021 IPO collection, I also noticed that there were multiple IPO ETF funds. Take a look at Renaissance IPO ETF, ticker IPO. 
which holds recent IPOs as 80% of its assets. Based on its ETF card, it has high performance risk but has outperformed the market. It makes sense to see the high risk, high reward nature of this fund. Another similar IPO is the Renaissance International IPO ETF, ticker IPOS. This fund gives you exposure to the most significant non-US listed newly public companies. Considering the record high number of IPOs this year, the combination of these two ETFs can give you good exposure to global IPOs and save you the hassle of picking which IPOs to buy. For me, for example, seeing a song such as Oak Street Health, take care OSH, Change Healthcare, take care CHNG, Bridge Biopharma, take care BBIO, on the top 25 holdings of IPO ETF, shows the benefit of investing in this fund. These are stocks I've never looked at. What about you? Do you see any benefit in investing in the IPO and IPOS ETFs? Let's talk in the comments on our YouTube channel or Facebook. Okay, folks, one last thing before we end today's daily recap. You know that here at StockCard, we like to partner with successful investors who can share their research, stock picks, and analysis with you. Brian Fraldi and Brian Stoffel run a YouTube channel where they break down and analyze the stocks we all want to own. Today, they released a video where they dug into Shopify, ticker CHOP. I would highly recommend that you check out their video. Also, both Brian's are intelligent investors who share their portfolios on stock card on the stock picks page. Brian Fraldi runs two, a quality checklist portfolio and an interesting anti-portfolio, which consists of the stocks he reviews but doesn't think quite stack up. Brian Stoffel also has two portfolios, the fragile portfolio and anti-fragile portfolio. Make sure to follow them both on a stock card to be notified when they add a stock to their portfolios. I'll leave a link to Brian's video into the description below. That's it for today. If you haven't already done so, please give a stock card a try. Research as many stocks and ETFs as you want. And consider following a few successful investors by visiting the Stock Picks page on the Stock Card platform. Don't forget to sign up for a 14-day free trial with promo code Roll with our CEO, all lowercase and in one word. Like, subscribe, and share these market recap reports with your fellow investors. Come back tomorrow for another episode. I'll see you then.